Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be on this makeup look using the products from the Nightlife Collection by Sigma and Camilla Coelho. Um, she's here on YouTube if you guys are familiar with her. If you guys don't know, I'm an affiliate with Sigma, so I had this collection sent to me. The only thing that I don't have from the collection is the um, bronzer, but I have a bronzer by Sigma that I used for the tutorial for the sake of using Sigma and um, I basically have everything else in the collection so I used literally every product for this look to show you guys how it applies and how I like to use it. It comes with a makeup palette, it comes with a blush, it comes with a double sided um, eyeliner, the lip liner and the lipstick and I don't think I'm missing anything else. Oh and it also comes with a brush set. So I used everything for this look and I really love the collection. I love how this look came out and I hope you guys like it as well. Also if you guys do purchase with Sigma make sure to use my coupon Bond. It's just my name, Rotem, that's R-O-T-E-M, at checkout, and it'll give you some percent off your purchase. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Hey guys, so I'm first priming my eyes with a 3D HD brush and my MAC um, Soft Ochre Paint Pot. So I'll be using the Nightlife Palette from Sigma and Camila Coelho um, for this entire look, and this is from her collection with Sigma. And then I'm taking the shade Skyline with my Sigma All Over Blend Brush to set my paint pot to set the um, primer. And if you guys miss any product or brush that I use, um, it will all be listed down below in the description box. So now using my Sigma E35 brush, I'm taking the shade um, Panache from the palette. It's kind of like a light, cool brown shade just to work it into the crease. Now I'm taking my Sigma Blending E25 brush that did come in the palette, or I'm sorry, in the collection, and I'm taking the shade Urban Net from the palette. I love this shade. It's like a really pretty burgundy, like purpley shade, and I'm working that into the crease for kind of like a pop of color. And using the same brush, I'm taking the shade After Hours, which is like a um, darker brown shade, just to work that into the crease as well and deepen the look. And now I'm using my Sigma E40 brush just to blend everything that I've already done to make sure there aren't any harsh lines. And going back into the E25 brush, I'm just taking the shade After Hours and Leather Pants. Um, to work into the crease in the outer corner as well. And this is just the matte black and the dark brown from earlier. And again, just using the E40 brush just to blend everything out, especially with this dark black shade. And then I'm also going back into my other brush, the Sigma blending brush from earlier, without any additional product, just to blend everything out again. And then reapplying the black and blending out the fun part of doing makeup. So now using the brush um, from the collection, the E55 brush, I'm just going to take the shade 4 star and apply that with MAC Fix Plus onto my lid. And this really adds shine and it makes it very intense and pigmented. And also the brushes from the collection have a little bit of like a shimmer on them. So they are a little bit different from the regular Sigma brushes. So now I'm taking my E40 brush and I'm just going to add a little bit of that burgundy shade called Urbanette. And just blend that into the crease because I wanted a little bit more of that color to show through. So now I'm taking my Sigma E15 brush and this isn't the one from the collection although they do have one from the collection because I do have one of my own but I use it for darker shades. So I'm taking that matte black shade from the palette and just kind of like smoking out the outer corner and creating a wing with just the shadow because I didn't want to use any eyeliner for this look. And then taking the Sigma pencil brush I'm just going to blend it out with a little bit of the Urbanette shade. And now using my new um, Benefit Roller Lash Mascara, I'm just going to coat my lashes with this and I love this mascara. It is so good. 
Now I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Base 2 pencil and I'm just going to clean up the wing using this pencil. And then here's another way to use the um, E15 brush I think it's called and this one is from the palette or the collection and I'm just blending out that um, line we created with the pencil just to make everything nice and sharp and cleaned up. <laughs> So this is the Sigma Tapered F35 brush that I have of my own, but again, this also comes in the collection and I'll show you another way to use this brush later on. But here I'm just using my L'Oreal Translucent Powder to set my under eyes because I did my uh, face makeup off camera. So now I'm using the liquid highlighter from the collection called Afterglow and I'm applying this to the tops of my cheekbones and the tip of my nose, also in the bridge of my nose. Um, but just a little tip, I would probably set um, my under eyes with the translucent powder after doing this just because you really shouldn't apply liquids over powders and it did make it a little bit hard to blend. But overall, I really like this highlighter and I think it looks really good under um, a powder highlighter. And also, I use the Sigma Duo Fiber F15 brush to blend that out. And then I'm going back into my Anastasia Beverly Hills Base 2 um, pencil to clean up under my eyebrows. And again, I'm going to show you another way to use the E15 brush to blend that out. And it really helps um, have control when you're trying to um, sharpen up the um, brow bone and also clean it up. <laughs> So now using the um, Sigma Medium Sweeper Brush, I'm going to take the shade um, Skyline and Bijou and highlight my brow bone area. And then going back with the darker E15 brush, I'm just going to take that matte black shade and um, line the under eyes with it or the lower lash line. And then using the Sigma Pencil Brush, I'm going to take that burgundy shade called um, Urbanette again and just blend that out. So now using a different pencil brush, I'm going to take um, this silvery shimmery shade called Disco Ball and just highlight the inner corners. And now using the eyeliner that came in the collection, I'm going to take the black one called Eclipse and just line my waterline with this. <laughs> Now using the In the Saddle Aura Powder and the Sigma Small Contour FO5 brush, I'm just going to contour and bronze my face. And then I'm using my Sephora um, Pro Angled brush and the Hotspot Powder blush that came in the collection. And I'm just um, using this as blush on my cheeks. And now using the F35 brush that came in the collection, I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit with the two bottom shades here. And I'm highlighting the tops of my cheekbones and the bridge of my nose. So for lips, I'm taking the lip liner called In Fine Feather and I'm just lining my lips with this. And this is actually one of the best formulas for lip liners that I've used. It comes on so smooth and pigmented. And I just decided to line my entire lips with this shade because it was a little bit more dark mauve compared to the lipstick and I didn't want the lipstick to go on too light on my skin tone. But then I did apply the lipstick over that and this is in the shade Dance Till Dawn and I think this paired really nicely together. And then I forgot to show you guys how um, I use the Sigma Large Angled Contour F40 brush that came in the collection. But I would use this for um, the bronzer or the blush and here I'm just showing you how it applies with bronzer. Just using the same bronzer from earlier. 
and that is it for this look thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this and please let me know what you think in the comments below and i'll see you in my next video bye bye